an indoor home bait well, which will have some feeders, have some big Mayans, some bluegills, and crazy like stuff. Yeah. Oh. Look up. Real, real, real. There's a bottom right there. Get him out. Real, good, real. What up, Slayers? We're back at it with another video, and we're outside today. We are starting to make some big changes here in the Slayam residence. Now, I am a beautiful shadow, as you can see, covering my goldfish, but regardless, you can see how beautiful they are in the light. Look how orange they get, and they follow me wherever I go. Oh, I love my goldfish bathtub. Now, this bathtub here was supposed to be temporary, but it has become permanent because we have new tanks, new big tanks. Now it seems like every single video we're getting new tanks, but we're making upgrades, we're changing things up, making sure that every single animal that's part of this channel has its own little enclosure so that it can survive and we can enjoy them for as long as we can. But we cannot forget our little guys right here. Here we have our Salcata tortoises from Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. We have Squirt and we have Crush. And as you can see guys, there's a lot of room in the back, if you know what I'm thinking. And there's a lake. It's time, we finally got the approval guys. We're gonna be building a massive, massive pond in the back. But first, we gotta go ahead and make sure we set up something upstairs. We're gonna be setting up the tank upstairs today. An indoor home bait well, which will have some feeders, have some big Mayans, some bluegills and stuff so that I can help Zach feed Shamu, his peacock bass, the red tails and everything like that. So without further ado, let me go ahead and show you guys what my favorite goldfish do. Hold on one second. Everyone's doing good, guys. Everyone was freaking out that my platys got eaten, but they're there. I promise you they're there. They look like they got eaten, but they're there. Look how tranquil this is. It's beautiful. It's perfect. Are you okay, buddy? All right, let's get these guys out. You went out? You went out? No problem. They were just finishing their soaking. Nice little poop. Yummy, yum, yum. Just uh, send that over there. Let's uh, send that one two over there but let's try to go ahead and feed my goldfish real quick i love these tetra flakes it's perfect let's grab some of these hey guys you guys know what's going on it's time to feed oh yeah take a moment and listen to that oh this is crazy absolutely amazing so they're all in here they're all doing good feed them about twice a day and then let them forage on any leftover food on the weekends. So guys, let's go ahead and head upstairs, check out that 90 gallon tank, which we're gonna fill up with food for our monster aquarium fish. All right guys, so before we head upstairs, let's check out the new tank. Now, it's been here for a little bit, and if you guys follow me on Instagram, I did put it up for sale. Yes, I had it for sale solely because I wanted to get a bigger tank, but that was before I got the permits that approved me to build my tank. So we're gonna keep this in here. We're gonna do something with it. You know, I remember the video with the gulpers where we fed them live and there's a lot of comments with a lot of fish I like. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy some of those fish for you guys, but this looks good. This looks really, really good. It has a lot of stuff in it. This is all for it. I have a sump pump, the entire thing. So whatever, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on guys. I'm sure I'm gonna be making a video on setting up this tank too. So, but can't get distracted. Let's head upstairs. Well guys, we made it upstairs and after a lot of buckets and a lot of trips, we're just about done filling up this tank right now. I got maybe one or two more buckets and that will be good. Here we have our 90 gallon tank. And I'm kind of talking loud because there's a lot of noise. As you can see now, I have a lot of things. I got one, I have two, there's three over here. I have one, two, three. I got Ninja right here. Come on, buddy. Come up, come up, come up, come up. <laughs> Give us a little bite on camera. No? Look at him, see? That's a good pet right there. Doesn't bite its owner. Now, I also have my gophers right here, as you can see, guys, which are looking super cool in this little green lighting. The ogre layer is my favorite. And then I still have Crayola with her babies. I believe if you go on the opposite side right here, you might be able to see her hiding inside of the pot of trust. So before I even start with everything, don't forget, guys, to soak your stones. I soak my stones for about an hour, sometimes two, or even overnight. Right now it's gonna be probably soaking for about an hour while we work on everything and just let it sit. Your stones aren't gonna work as efficiently if they aren't soaked. So we're just gonna go ahead and lay these down right on the sand. Boop. Boop. 
So that's it. They'll just soak up all that water. And then once you plug them into the air pumps, it's going to be a lot of bubbles. Look, see? As you can see, the stone already took in some oxygen and it's releasing it already in bubbles. So that's exactly why you want to go ahead and soak your stones so that they're completely soaked. If you don't get it, just soak your stone. All right, so now I gotta go ahead and get my canister filter, which I'm gonna be using the goldfish canister filter, so I can go ahead and quickly cycle this thing up as fast as possible. Now, again, guys, when my fellow YouTubers and my family down here needs fish for feeding, I got them. As well as, we're gonna have some bait, we're gonna have some fun, so I'm not gonna have to go ahead and constantly go catch some bait, and if we have them here, it's gonna be good. Now, this tank is gonna be for something else in the future, but I kinda got something to work right now, I'm gonna be trading this tank up, You'll see, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. It's just so much. I'm just trying to keep up. And if you guys want to keep up, don't forget to like and subscribe because guys, we might be hitting 100K and I don't even know what's going to happen at 100K. Merch? Who knows? So without further ado, I'm going to grab the canister filter. I'm going to grab my hoses. I'm going to grab everything. And let's set this puppy up. Well, hello again, guys. We're back at it. And uh, it was a long walk upstairs from downstairs getting this filter from the bathtub. Whew. Between all the water and carrying crap upstairs, it's getting quite annoying to have some fish tanks. It's time for a pond. Pond equal bigger fish, less work. You know how it rolls. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is actually move Godzilla's tank here. Now he's doing good. Can you, let me see if we can find him for you guys. He's back there. If you wanna go ahead and zoom in, he's back there. So we're gonna go ahead and actually slide his tank just a, little, a wee bit over. Don't worry, Godzilla, nothing's happening. You're gonna be fine. What we're actually gonna go ahead and do is set up the filter, the canister right there. So, remove all this stuff. Actually disconnect this. So actually, you know what? Instead of showing you all this nonsense, I'm gonna go ahead and set up the filter, set up the polisher. I got my hoses to your right there. And we're gonna set up the air stones and I'm gonna show you the final product. So again, guys, I apologize for all the trickling. You know, if you're a fish aquarium hobbyist, there's a lot of trickling going on in the room. So as you can see guys, here is the tank right now. So we're gonna let it cycle, we got our, our stones going. So this is what I mean by soak your stones. Look at this stone, it's perfect. Towards the bottom, there's some bubbles, but in the middle, there's a lot of bubbles. Now if we compare it to this one, I know the polish is in the way, but if you go on this side right here, only the midsection and top are going ahead. Only the midsection and the top of the stone are producing bubbles. So if you look at it, yes, this one looks like it's producing. They're both producing about the same, but honestly, that one's producing more. But it's fine. As the tank progresses, the stones will work better. So guys, we're gonna let this thing cycle, and I'll see you in like a week or two. I don't, I, I don't know, whenever I feel like putting fish in it. Well, hello, it's been just about two weeks now, and the time has finally come where we fill up this tank with a whole bunch of stuff we're gonna go ahead and put to feed our awesome fish. Now I'm waiting for catch more fishing to bring me something cool. But, well he's here I guess. He's here, <laughs> that scared me. Well, hello my friend You guys Kelly. scared me. That was really spooky, I almost <laughs> ran away. <laughs> Woo, hold on, give me a second. <laughs> Don't leave your back door open ladies and gentlemen, or someone spooky, nah nah. <laughs> That's crazy. We'll come and eat you. So, I do have a lot of these. I took the lid off just to show you, but I think we're gonna go back downstairs and film some cool stuff from my channel. All right. Perfect. Ah. If you want to see that, check it out on his channel, and we will be back once we finish what we're going to do. Doing online. crazy stuff! Yeah! Crazy, but recommended. Keep your fish alive. Don't feed them goldfish unquarantined. So guys, as you can see, we have the goldfish right here. Now we have another little goldfish army, but like I said, quarantine tank for bigger plans. Yes, for our fish, catch them alls, and mine, and anyone else who wants some goldfish, I got your back. Now, if you want to check out Ninja stuffing his face on Catch Em All's channel, go ahead and check it out. He still wants to eat, but <laughs> he's a little lethargic. As you can see, he is stuffed. And these guys didn't eat, but I almost got them eating on Frozen. Whoa! Hello! Hello. I was here alone, and now you're not. So we have all our guys here, and they're doing pretty good. They're doing pretty good. Catch Em All is here. He's actually outside. We're about to go ahead and meet him. But, um, bro, Godzilla crushed his food. You gotta check that out also on Catch Moss channel. He destroyed this little tilapia that was here. And he's still eating. Look at him. Look at him, guys. What a savage. Looking for food. Can you not show us your butt, buddy? Huh? Huh? You're my, uh, you're my butt, buddy. Stop. So, guys, let's go ahead and meet Catch Moss outside with Kelly. 
There you go. Boom, leave it. That's catching the fish for sure. Here's See what happens. So that's 100% catching the fish. Close the bale. It's going to get eaten for sure. Yeah. Come on. It. Oh, that's there it is. Good job. There you go. There it is. There it is. Go ahead. Oh! Hook up! Real, real, real! There's a bottom right there! Get him out! Real, go, real! Go to the right, go to the right! Go to the right! Get him, get him! Real! There he is! Oh! Easy, easy! Oh my god, look at that fin! Oh, look how pretty this one is! That's a nice one, that's a nice one. There's followers, there's followers. Oh, there's a whole bunch! Oh, get him, get him! Oh, nice! Quick little peacock bass, right? Really quick, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. Let's catch them all. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm as a bear! Nice! Flip or die, flip or die, Kelly, flip or die. Woo! Show him the rod. Show him the rod, you caught him. Oh, with. man, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool, not man. Bad, not bad. Hey, thanks for the goldfish, buddy. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks again, my friends. And I'll see you in the next live venture.